Hi guys, just uh, back with the first video of the year, just uh, wish you all a uh, happy new year, hope you had a good holidays and uh, this is my, uh, in my opinion, the Hot Toys figure of the year, which is the Iron Man guy, I just got it on here just to um, show you the scale, to show you how big this beast is. So this is also a awesome figure, but I'll get him out of the way. And we can get the monger in. This figure guys, this is freaking awesome looking thing. I'm sure you've all seen reviews on him by now, but the back of him looks just as nice as the front, I think. Oh, he's going to come up. That's where you put his uh, thrusters in. So he's got two pegs on there, and they just peg into these holes. So he's at least all the pistons on him uh, fully work. He's got articulation everywhere you expect. He's got the ankles, the pivot, knee, hips, the swivel. Obviously the hands, the elbows and the shoulders, and the uh, head when you've got him closed up. I don't know if you can see in there very well, it's not very good light, but um, there is the torso of a body in there and like a sort of black, uh, sort of, uh, like a sort of wetsuit type looking thing over the top of his body. He has a little chain and obviously the um, Jeff Bridges head sculpt of Obadiah. The inside is quite well detailed as well, you've got all your pistons inside, your little uh, harnesses and buckles and wires. Uh, switches. Lights on just a little switch there. And then his palm comes on and he's got a little uh, targeting sort of laser as well for his little minigun. They are extremely bright. They would almost blind you if you look in them. Where's the switch? There he is. Alright. You get a little one for his rockets in there again. And I'll just uh, sorry for the shaky cam guys. Should have done this before I started really, but just put you down there. So you see how you close him. The arc director up. Try not to get it stuck.
Oogie bitch. It is quite, it looks delicate, but you've got to, uh, quite manhandle it to, uh, get it in and out. And they slide up like that. You've got to make sure his head's in the right place when you close the top, otherwise it's not going to fit uh, in the hole. And I've done that wrong. Should have put the top down first. Yeah, so if you get this guys, um, don't worry about these parts, because you'd have to, uh, as he said, articulation is real good. You'd have to be extremely rough to break these off, because they're on there good. And then switch his front lights on. Pull this piece down, you have a little switch in there. Light his eyes and his uh, chest arc reactor up. Then you get his little rocket and come out of his back. You just pull this flap up and slide this one across and then pull that up and out. But yeah, he's a beast of a figure, guys. If you're thinking about getting him, or you get him before he sells out, because it's the best looking figure I've ever laid eyes on. He is a monster. One thing just be careful about is all these little pistons when you're moving his arms around. Just make sure you're not putting too much stress and bending them way they should, ways they shouldn't be bent. But as long as you're careful, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Yeah, so there he is, guys. I should be back uh, doing reviews more regularly. Now, now it's a new year and. Uh, Bit more time. Got the um, Avengers cap and Bane are in the in the post being shipped, so it should be uh, uh, sometime next week. So I should see you then. Speak, spit it out. <laughs> So yeah, have a good new year guys, and I shall uh, speak to you soon. Bye it.